I remember winding up in this large ward, and I just I remember everything getting foggier and foggier, and pretty soon I don't remember anything except what I woke up ten days later in an iron lung. They told my mother that it was polio. Yeah. The first year, at least, probably was more of a matter of survival. There's been three things in my life that have been very, very liberating. My ability to frog breathe, which gets me off the ventilator during the day or for mobility purposes. The ventilator, which kept me alive. And the third one is my wheelchair. Because it's my mobility, it's my legs. For most people, the wheelchair is sort of an admission is that they're getting old and frail and and incapable of uh, contributing physically. But for me, those elements that hold fear for others are very liberating for me and have been. I walk them home without it, I would not have had the life I have. I wasn't able to go to school in the, in the regular school system when I was younger because the supports weren't there, the attitudes weren't there, none of that was there. Because in the 70s, you know, you're, we were uh, struggling and arguing for community care access to buildings, access to transportation, access to education. It's because I wanted to do things. I wanted to be involved in the community and I couldn't do it. And I could no longer run, jump and play, but I could administer. I'd be close that way and contribute in a different way. I was promoting the, the individual with a disability as an athlete first. Then if you look at their athletic achievements, I'd respect them for that. And they're at the top of their apex of their sport. The disability kind of disappears. If you trace the positive ripple effects of sport in a disabled context, the socially innovative changes it has brought to Canadians with a disability or disabled people worldwide is absolutely amazing. We live in an interdependent environment and the sooner you realize that the relationships that you evolve in your life, the respect that you show each other, and the honesty of values that you carry that out, the richer your life is going to be.